Another common workflow when working with topographical maps is that you need to put on grids or graticules uh, on the map. Um, I've mentioned this word graticule. You see here, we have, in this case, we have two grids if you wish. We have one grid here that following the UTM network. And then we have in black, and then we have these red lines which have their giving um, the latitude and longitude as degrees, decimal degrees in this case. So we have two grids and traditionally we call if we're using a latitude longitude, we call it a graticule and anything else we call it a grid. So often we need to add these things to our topographical maps. So in QGIS I will uh, bring up my print composer one, bring up this one, and I will then add my map frame, yeah, so I'll add my map frame, like this, this is my IMRS, I'll just move my map frame for make it a bit easier, and I'll move the contents inside my map frame like that, and I might set the scale to 1 to 50,000. Like that. So, um, I have a, um, a map frame, and if I want to add a grid to that, that's an item property. So, if you go over here, we see where I'm in my item properties, I have item property, and my extent, and my whatever I got up here. If I go down under grids, I can press the little green plus, and I can specify my grid how it's going to be displayed, uh, which coordinate system it is. I will start up with a grid in the same coordinate system as my uh, map. So let's use that one there. Um, and I then specify how large I want my grids to be. Let's say I want them to be uh, 100 meters by 100 meters. Oops, 100 meters by 100 meters. So that was maybe a bit, now well, let's say kilometer by kilometer. So we now have a grid network here where we have a grid for each kilometer. I can, so that was a grid and I specified its parameters, how close they were in map units. I can go down and I can add a frame. So we want all of these zebra frames it will then align with the grid so it changes color from black to white for each grid we have. We can then show do we want to have divisions and uh, yeah and I'll just say I want to have some coordinates and um, we have the, all the coordinates there. Uh, a bit too many decimals, get rid of those like that. Um, so now I have uh, my coordinates all the way along here. I don't want to have them in my right, so I just disable them there. And I don't want them in my bottom, I'll just disable them there. So I've got them in my left and my top side. I only need those two. Um, because what I want to do is that I want to add a new grid. So if I go up and again press the green. This time, I'll go down and change my to the VGS, so a latitude longitude coordinate system, and I want to add a grid for each. Ooh, oh point. Let's see what happens if I say one. Uh, yeah, there's one line there. I'll probably let's say. Oh point. O five. So now I've got those two lines, and I'll also use O point O five on the axis. And at the moment, we all as black. I'll just change 
my uh, line style um, down here to be uh, not black but I'll have them in red so the red ones are my second grid grid 2 which is a gratitude because it's based on latitude longitude and I can then go down and say I want coordinates of those um, but this time I only want them on my Uh, they're a bit close to the net. Uh, I don't want them on my top. So let's disable them there. And I don't want them on my left. So I'll disable them there. A bit confusing. Like that. And then I will add a bit more space. So uh, let's see this again. This one like that. So now we have my latitude longitude information of decimal degrees here and we have the grid here with my UTM coordinates so here I've added two different grids onto my same topographical map so adding a grid is a property of the data frame map frame in the print composer so you choose them ensure that your uh, map frame is selected and you can then choose from the item properties of that map frame and you go under grids you press the little green plus and then you can add grids with, and you can use different coordinate systems so you can have both a UTM in this case and a latitude longitude a gratitude on your map and of course they have different colors and you can play around with all these different properties of the grid.